Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, what is up? How is everyone doing? So, today's video is something special, and you want to know why? We're traveling, baby. This specific video isn't going to be like a travel, travel vlog, but you know there's preparation we need in order to travel there's things we need to do to prepare to travel once again like i said in my preparing for fall video this is going to be a pretty unnecessary pretty extra video on how to prepare for a trip these are just things i personally like to do to get ready for a trip in case you guys are wondering where i am traveling to i'm actually traveling twice this month first is Miami. I will be in Miami from November 4th to the 7th and then I also am planning to fly out to Orlando not even a week later. So it's a good time. Yeah, I'll be in Miami in three days and I've done absolutely nothing to prepare for the trip to get ready. No packing, nothing. That's what this video is going to be all about. So I've written down what I want to do for the next three days to prepare for this trip. Once again, super extra. These are just things that I am personally going to do before my trip. I'm going to be getting my hair done. I'm going to be getting my nails done. We're gonna wax, we're gonna shave, we're gonna exfoliate. I need a new suitcase. I wanna get a pedicure. I wanna make sure I have clothes to wear when I'm having a heat stroke in Miami, just things like that. And of course, you know, I had to film it. I wanna take you guys with me. I'm gonna be by myself anyways. So y'all gonna be my company. Y'all gonna come with me and I'm so excited. I'm also super excited to visit Miami. I've never been. I've been to Florida multiple times, but I've been to Tampa, and Orlando but never Miami and I know Miami is going to be somewhat a different experience and I'm so excited Florida is that place Florida is where it's at and I know if you live there you may disagree but for me a North Carolina girl that does not live there and only visits for about a week at a time it's like a happy place for me if you can understand that but yeah today on my list I wanted to get a pedicure I wanted to buy a new suitcase because mine's broken because I overpack way too much and then it's way too heavy and then anytime I try to maneuver it it up it breaks and then I also might want to go get some summer clothes today things other than tank tops because I don't like to wear tank tops all the time I just want like some light t-shirts some shorts things like that I can wear I'm not gonna go crazy because it is fall where I live and I'm only gonna be in Miami I'll be in Miami like half the month but it's still fall where I live so I wouldn't really be able to wear the clothes again until it starts to get warm but then again North Carolina is so bipolar it was 81 degrees yesterday and now today it's like 59 so but for now we're going to head out to go get this pedicure right now my toes are like a super bright orange which is really pretty but I did want to go white for Miami so that's what we're gonna go do all right guys so we are in the car now I feel like eyelash glue stringing my eyeball together and it's not really comfortable for me okay I think we're good but I'm in the car now before we do anything first of all we're gonna get coffee second of all i need food because i'm hungry okay i had breakfast it's and now i'm like hungry i want to get food and coffee before i get my pedicure anyways i'm about to pull out of the neighborhood so i will talk to you guys once i get to starbucks all right guys so i'm out of starbucks now and i actually met a subscriber in there which is so cool should have filmed it i need to make it a habit to like pull my camera out when i meet a subscriber but i know not everyone's comfortable with that and like in the moment i'm not thinking about filming believe it or not but once again got my pumpkin cream cold brew if someone made a compilation of how many times i've said that on my channel this past month it would be too many you know what i get the drink all the time but now that i think about it i think i've only talked about it like once or twice but but now that i have my coffee i'm super happy i'm going to get some food because I'm also hungry and then we're gonna head to the nail salon and get these toes done all right guys so I'm now parked at chick-fil-a I think I'm gonna get a wrap if you guys have not tried chick-fil-a's grilled cool wrap yet it is fire with the avocado lime ranch like if you don't have it with the ranch it's cardboard but with the ranch like it is insanely good so I'm gonna get that but I'm gonna get like a meal so like along with the fries I want to get a drink because I don't want to have like a wrap with coffee but I don't want two drinks so we're not gonna get a drink but I'm gonna go inside and I probably won't film in there cuz I don't know I don't like filming in there So I got my why did I start this clip literally yelling anyways? I got my food and I forgot the meal I forgot any meal comes with a drink so and they didn't have lemonade 
so I got Sprite. So now I do have two drinks, which is exactly what I didn't want to do, but that's okay. So now it's time to get this pedicure, which I'm so excited about. I love getting pedicures. It's so relaxing to me, and the salon I usually go to is like empty every time I go. Pedicures are nice. Like, you could just chill, get your toes done, and the place I go also does a really great job, so not only is it relaxing, but all the nail polish is actually on your toes and like not on your skin or anywhere around it, you know? So yeah, we're gonna go get these white toes for Miami, baby. Alright guys, so I'm out of the nail salon now. It is currently 5.01. One thing I don't like about the cooler months is that it gets dark so quick. Like the sun is already starting to set. Weeks ago, it was getting dark at like eight. So anyways, so I got my toes done. I got them done white and I'm wearing shoes, but that's because I got gel. And whenever you get gel, just in case you aren't aware, it literally dries with a light. So by the time you're done, it's completely dry and you're able to just put your shoes back on. So that's what I did because I was not gonna wear sandals because it's probably like low 50s outside right now and my my ass would be freezing because I'm already wearing shorts. But yeah, so the next thing we have on our list is to go get a suitcase. And then my mom also told me to look for basically a pillow to support my back. Because if you guys did not know, I'm currently dealing with some back issues. And like sitting for long periods of time can irritate my back. So any way I can soothe the pain I'm gonna do. So in this case, getting a like lumbar support pillow would help my back. So we are going to go to probably TJ Maxx because I know there I can get a suitcase and they usually have like little things like that in the store as well so we're gonna go there see what we can find and i'm gonna talk to you guys once we get there So I'm in TJ Maxx right now and I'm looking at the suitcases and there's honestly a lot of options. They're not like the cutest, but honestly, I'm not that picky. I just need something that's gonna hold my clothes and not fall apart. All right, so I'm out of TJ Maxx now and I was looking through like the travel section and I did find a suitcase. As you guys can see, I got this light pink one. It's super cute. It was the cutest they had. All the other ones were just like kind of tacky. I don't know, I didn't really like them. And then I looked at like the travel pillow section, you know, where they have like the pillows that support your neck and things like that. And I didn't find any for my back. So that's not gonna happen today, but that's okay. Also, while I was in TJ Maxx, if you guys did not know, I've been dealing with problems with my camera where this happened and I fixed it, but it happened again. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it while out and about. So we are filming on my phone. I wasn't even gonna mention it because there's not much of a difference. I'm not gonna complain that my camera is broken at the moment and I have to film on my iPhone 11. <laughs> so we're just gonna film on here and honestly, like the quality looks pretty much the exact same so I ain't mad about it and it's less noticeable than bringing a camera into a store so it's all good but now it is 5 46 but I'm about to go shopping okay it's a little late not late but like this is around the time I like to be back home but you know what we're gonna do it for the video and it ain't even late so like I'm gonna be okay I'm just hoping I don't get stuck in traffic but I don't think I should so I'm about to go to some outlets which are I was about to look on my phone to see how far away they are from here they're like around half an hour from my house and I don't know if it'll be closer or further from here i think closer but yeah we're gonna go look for some clothing items for this trip so we could be cute and comfortable hence the florida weather so i'm really excited to do that i'm going to drive up there fun stuff and i'm gonna talk to you guys once i get there all right so i just got to the outlet took about 30 minutes to get here more like 25 but we're here now. It's um really not that busy. It's busier than it usually is. We're here, we made it, and I'm about to go into PacSun, which is right there, to see what we can find. I don't know how much talking I'm gonna do in the stores because honestly, they're usually so empty. Like, I really don't wanna talk and draw attention to myself. And then also, where I live, it's not common to film in public at all. People really aren't used to that. And the area I'm in now, which is only like 30 minutes from where I live, it's even less common, but we're gonna make it work. Alright 
guys so i'm back home and i've been messing around with my camera trying to fix it because whenever this happens basically all i have to do as long as the screws don't disappear i could just put the screw back in and screw it back in so the screen is actually intact and not literally hanging by one little screw but i realized that the little screw i can't even show you it's so small but as you guys can see it's like bent so there's no way i can use it now and i'm gonna have to order new ones okay i'm gonna order those tonight so i have them before my trip because i'm not vlogging on my phone the whole trip but for tonight we're vlogging on the phone and once again i'm not mad about it i'm sorry if my footage today was not the best today has been so hectic for me i don't know if you guys could tell through the camera but not necessarily like just with tasks i was doing today but things i was going through like personally today was just like a lot like a lot went on today and it was kind of hard to like keep up with that and like answer people and then also film and like i don't know my head was all over the place today so tomorrow will be better but we did get some things done today i got my suitcase and i also went to a few stores i got a few tank tops which is what i said i wasn't gonna get i not really forgot but it hit me in like the middle of the day that my hair appointment for my braids is tomorrow and it's like 9 30 now and i still need to wash and blow out my hair so we're gonna do that but i'm not gonna complain because the good thing about blowing out my hair before bed like if i'm washing it is that blowing it out is going to completely dry my hair it's really easy to sleep on so that's fine it's just the process of actually doing it but once again all i'm doing is sitting on my ass holding a blow dryer so really not the end of the world um but i'm gonna show you guys what i got real quick also keep in mind i am very tired i'm really tired so i went to two stores i drove 30 minutes to go to two stores so i went to PacSun. And first of all, I think it's really cool. Well, I met a subscriber right before I walked in. And then also I got offered a job there. I thought that was kind of cool. I've been wanting a job. I don't know if I'm going to take that one. There is other places I'd prefer to work more. So I am going to go through with those applications and stuff before I just kind of hop on to the first thing I'm offered. But I thought that was really cool. I was super flattered that I was offered a job right on the spot. But at PacSun, I got three tank tops. These are from the PacSun Basics line. These tank tops were like 10 bucks each. I don't know if they're worth ten dollars but this is about like the most affordable things you can get at PacSun so I got three tank tops literally just like this in different colors so the first one I got is a super pretty like fuchsia color I don't know I don't see this color often it's like a mixture of hot pink but also has like some purple tones in it so I also got the same tank top in black if I were to wear these here right now I'd literally freeze to death but they'll be perfect for my trip and then lastly I got this gray one which I thought was also super cute I really like wearing just solid colors it's super easy to match really easy to pair with things and i'm here for it and then i also went to the nike outlet and i got a few items these first two items are really not related to the trip i'll probably bring them anyways because they're just really comfortable but i got two nike sports bras these were on sale for 29.99 they're originally 35 dollars kind of reminded me of a calvin klein sports bra with this nike logo on the bottom i thought these would be super comfortable to even just like lounge around in and then i also got a black nike sports bra this one is in more of like a v-neck design i thought this one was super cute and once again it has the nike logo on the bottom i would more likely use these for like working out but i also like if i'm just chilling at the house i'll usually lounge in just like a sports bra or something and then lastly something that'll definitely come in handy on the trip is this nike windbreaker i've always been a fan of the black and white nike windbreaker and i saw it there and it was on sale for like $70 when it's originally like over 100 so I decided to pick it up there while they had it I will definitely be using this in Florida because I know it rains the last time I was in Florida it seriously rained every day I was there and I know that's like a normal thing so I think a windbreaker kind of also plays as like a rain jacket so I think a windbreaker will be great for the Florida weather and it's black and white so it'll match with anything so that's it for my haul for today my suitcase is still in the car because I did not feel like bringing that in today so i'm gonna leave that in the car overnight and bring it in like tomorrow or something but i am about to take off my makeup these earrings hurt my ears because they're from claire's and they're like fake and my ears are sensitive to that i guess who got, who's buying real earrings nobody but yeah i'm gonna take off my makeup and i'm going to shower co-wash my hair and just blow dry it so i'll talk to you guys once i am done getting unready and i'm ready to blow dry my hair all right guys so i'm obviously out of the shower now and i'm about to 
blow dry this hair so in the shower i just used a co-wash because i just washed my hair last night so i wasn't trying to strip it or anything kind of forgot actually if i remembered i was getting my hair done tomorrow i wouldn't have washed it yesterday but it doesn't really matter because i co-wash and then i just used a conditioner and conditioned my hair and then i put like a leave-in and then i put just like a hair moisturizer and some heat protectant in my hair I also shaved my armpits which was much needed this is what my hair looks like without really any product in it, it actually doesn't look that bad my hair feels so light without using all the products i normally put in my hair all right so this is what the hair is looking like i'm going to just start sectioning but this next protective style i'm getting is not meant to stay in your hair very long so the curls will be back very soon okay so i'm just going to brush out every section you guys probably know the routine by now and i'm just going to start blowing out my hair get all the curls out and and get it prepped for my protective style tomorrow all right guys so i pretty much finished blowing out my hair it's kind of not the best my hair was not cooperating with me i'm gonna try and go over it a little more tonight to make my hairstylist job a little easier but this is what we got i'm just going to put my hair in some twists tonight put on a bonnet call it a night and i'll be up decently early tomorrow because my appointment's at 11 but yeah this is the look until tomorrow thank you guys for joining my hectic day today and sticking around until this point of the video i'm surprised if you did but yeah i'm just going to kind of finish off my hair and i'll talk to you guys in the morning hey guys good morning so it is currently like 8 30 in the morning your girl surprised she was even able to wake up this early today's gonna be a great day i'm feeling it so today is the day i get my hair braided super excited i am always down to get my hair braided to where i have to do absolutely nothing in the mornings like that is fine with me and i'm really excited to get this done so i won't have to deal with it on the trip i love my curly hair but in that florida weather the last time i was in florida it was kind of a struggle we're just gonna not deal with it this time <laughs> but i just plan on eating breakfast i already fed my cats and really all i have to do in the morning is like eat breakfast get dressed and then i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup because i don't know just having your hair done and your makeup done at the same time just kind of hits different i just want to have a little bit of makeup on so once my hair is braided like it's a full look you can have a full look without makeup but you guys get what i'm saying so yeah i'm about to just get up make some breakfast do my makeup whatever and then i'm gonna hop in the car and get this hair braided and i'm really excited because the style i'm getting is only gonna take like 45 minutes to maybe an hour all right guys so your girl has it's like 9 37 now your girl has ate breakfast washed her face brushed her teeth kind of re-blew out my hair just took it out of the twist and just made sure it wasn't curly at all so that's that we're just gonna look like this until my appointment well you guys know this by now so now i'm about to just do some makeup i'm gonna do the makeup i would normally do i'm gonna try to make this quick because i do have an appointment i'm trying to leave the house in like less than an hour but my makeup only really takes now that i think about it it only takes like 20 ish minutes depends on what i'm doing but we're gonna make this Ugh, i can't even talk when i'm like pressing against my neck i sound like that dude on tiktok that makes videos of his cat named lola but um anyways i'm just going to do some makeup i'm gonna do a little time lapse so you guys can watch me do it but i don't have time for a tutorial this morning and the amount of times i've gone over my makeup routine as if people haven't heard it a million times is crazy so we're just gonna do what i normally do It is now 11 12 and i am at my hair appointment and i was actually running a little late even though i woke up at like eight o'clock of course i still found a way to be late what's new but then my hairstylist ended up texting me that she would be a little late as well and i was like oh yeah so you know i was like oh yeah totally fine no issue at all so now i'm just chilling here waiting for her to get here no rush at all which is great i'm super excited to get my hair done and i'm also super excited that it's only gonna take like an hour at the most because my last hairstyle took like five hours but i was in the salon for seven so that was a long process so i'm happy to be back but only getting a style that's gonna take like a minute <laughs>
playing games with me all right guys so i am back in my room now it's actually like six o'clock i haven't filmed much today because all i really did related to this video is get my hair done not all i did but that was like the moves for today for this video so i'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like because i didn't give you guys like an after did i even give you guys a before so i ended up because i didn't tell you guys earlier but i ended up just getting two feet in braids i was actually thinking about doing something crazy for my 18th birthday for my hair i was actually thinking about doing like a lace front but with that florida heat i'm gonna be sweating it's gonna be raining and i don't want my scalp to be burning and itching so i just decided to go with the braids for this trip so my scalp can breathe but my hair is still protected and i don't have to worry about doing it i put a bonnet on at night wake up take it off good to go this only took like an hour and 30 minutes which is great my last hairstyle my tribal braids took like five hours i need a little break from that so this is what we ended up doing so as you guys can see there's two feed in braids and then they have these curly pieces at the bottom and then the hair is ombre it starts kind of dark brown like my natural hair color and then it fades into this like auburn orangey color which i think is so cool and this is like really cute for the fall they're pretty long as you guys can see they go all the way down my ass <laughs> i have to be careful i don't sit on them yeah she did a great job like always i'm gonna have her instagram on the screen and in the description box if you guys live in the rdu area and you need a hairstylist you know where to go yeah i'm really tired probably just take a shower um maybe start editing this video so i could just kind of edit it like as the days go on so i don't have like a lot to do once i'm done filming the video because i plan on filming tomorrow tomorrow is packing day and i just want to pick up any other essentials i'm gonna need for the trip like little travel items things like that but tomorrow my main plan is just to pack and then i'm also hanging out with a friend tomorrow before i leave yeah but that's what my hair looks like i'm super pleased with it i like how the braids are pretty small it's so low maintenance that's it for now and i'll talk to you guys later one hour later let me guess your camera like that mic it broke so i have to i ordered stuff to fix it you want to tell them what we're doing she's gonna do my hair and we're going to Cold We're going to get some ice cream together. But before we do that, but before we do that, your feet are soft. <laughs> we're going to do her hair because. Ah! Stop. Don't act like a crackhead. <laughs> Thankfully, my sister's hair is like half of mine, maybe less. So it's so easy to do. Okay, that'll make no sense. <laughs> What'd you get at Starbucks? I got a chocolate chip cookie, hot chocolate. I got a, believe it or not, a pumpkin cream cold brew. So good. I got a smaller <laughs> size this time because I really don't need all that right now. I need to be drinking water. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It's actually like 12.40 in the afternoon right now, but I've actually been up since... Okay, so the first time I woke up was like seven o'clock. I ended up going to bed at like one, which is early for me, okay? It was like 12 o'clock. I was bored, like there was nothing to do. I was like, there's no reason for me to be up. Might as well go to sleep, get some extra sleep, get up at a decent time. And that's exactly what I did. So I didn't end up actually falling asleep until around one, but that's still earlier than I would usually go to sleep. We have three cats and they literally act like children in the morning. They were not let you stay asleep they want to be fed my cats are like addicted to eating do i let them eat all the time no so that was going on i first woke up at like seven and then i didn't end up actually getting out of bed until like 9 30 because i ended up going back to sleep blah 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 i did make it to the gym i haven't been here in like four or five days so now i am about to head home i want to get something to eat before i do that i don't know what i want but today's the day that the screws i ordered to fix my camera come in the mail which is great so i can get back to vlogging on the camera because it's totally fine filming on the phone but i don't know why it's just not as motivating it's just it's not the same like the quality is similar but i don't know i'm just really used to filming on a camera that sounds really privileged but anyways i'm gonna head back find something to eat and i'll talk to you guys once i get home i'm like tired i like just finished a workout so all right so hey guys i'm back home now i just got out of the shower i'm nice and clean and moisturized now maybe you guys could tell if not at all that's tough but i did fix my camera the little screws they're not in this little bag anymore came in the mail super easy fix but this is like the third time it's happened but anyways we're back on the camera we're back with that 
HD. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but hopefully you can. But right now I am about to, first of all, I'm about to dig into some Chipotle, even though I'm about to go out and eat. I can always eat. I'm also going to do my makeup because I'm going to hang out with one of my friends today. I'm trying to hang out with like everyone I can before I leave. Even though I'm only going to be gone for three days, I'm going to be like far away and it kind of makes me sad to think about it. I'm just going to do, I'm not even going to say I'm going to do a little bit because we all know where that leads to at this point. I'm just going to do the makeup I've been doing, I guess, unless I change my mind halfway through. I love all the primers by First Day Beauty. They're like actual moisturizers and they seem to work really well. I am loving this hairstyle so far. I always love me a protective style because the best thing to be able to do is just like wake up and not have to do your hair because my hair is like the most time consuming thing on my body. So if I could eliminate that, let me eat. If I could do that for a period of time, like I'm gonna do it. Also, in case you're wondering what I get at Chipotle, I get a bowl with white rice, pinto beans, chicken, lettuce, sour cream, and cheese, and it smacks. Like, this is so good, and it's good for you. Like, this isn't even bad. Usually, on the days that I work out, I get food on the way home, and that's typically Chick fil A, and it's usually like their cool wrap, but it's Sunday, so we had to go an alternate route. Okay. What am I doing? All right, guys. So right now it is 7.14 in the evening. Okay, so I'm back from hanging out with my friend. That was super fun. And I got home maybe like 45 minutes ago and I really haven't done anything other than get out of my jeans because your girl was uncomfortable. Jeans are like never really comfortable for me. I don't really mind wearing them, but I prefer to wear something else. Whenever I'm out and about, I don't really think about it. But as soon as I get home, those jeans are the biggest inconvenience. They're so uncomfortable. They're always uncomfortable, but something about actually getting home not being in public anymore it makes a difference guys i've not started packing like at all <laughs> i'm actually just bringing in my suitcase from like mm, what two days ago the suitcase hasn't even been opened but the one pro about this trip is that it's three days and two nights so it's a pretty short trip therefore i'm not going to try and overpack as much one thing about me some of you guys may know but i am an extreme overpacker it's really bad and it's kind of useless i'd much rather be overpacked than underpacked but there should be a limit you know but i'm going to open up this suitcase and we're just gonna start packing i think i'm gonna start with with like my actual outfit. So I'm gonna pick up the jean shorts I wanna bring. I don't think I'm gonna wear jeans. I'll maybe bring one pair just in case, but I really doubt I'll wear jeans. I'm gonna bring a lot of tank tops and just like some cropped t-shirts, things like that. This is crazy, like we're literally leaving tomorrow. I swear I was just saying the trip was in like 25 days, like yesterday. So I haven't even looked inside this suitcase yet. It's like green. It looks gray on camera, but it's like kind of green. One kind of rule I like to go by while packing is to roll my clothes. I'm that person that rolls their clothes. It actually saves a lot of space. And since your girl is usually an overpacker, it's really helpful. So I'm able to just cram a bunch of stuff in my suitcase, but it still looks neat. And it actually allows you to fit more in the suitcase. So it's a really good technique. All right, so what I ended up doing is just collecting a bunch of clothing items that I know I'm definitely gonna wanna bring. So that way Way I can just kind of roll everything at the same time. So I have the majority of my clothes picked out. There's still a few other tops I'm gonna want to add but we can go ahead and start packing it up So basically i'm just gonna go through all of these clothes and i'm going to roll them instead of how you would usually fold your clothes Now that I have the majority of my clothes packed, I'm going to pack my makeup up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a travel bag because I know I'm definitely not wearing makeup tomorrow morning. That's the last thing on my list. So I have all my brushes here. So I'm just going to get the brushes I use on a daily basis and put them in this bag. So I'm putting my brushes in here and then I'm also going to bring my brush cleaning soap as well. Definitely want to bring cotton pads. Deodorant, I'm just keeping out. I'm going to want to use that before I actually pack it. So this is what my suitcase is looking like so far. I have jean shorts. I have one pair of jeans over here. And then I just have like some comfortable shorts, biker shorts, things like that. Some of them to sleep in. Some of them to just like be comfortable while I'm there. I have like some cropped t-shirts. I have this crew neck that maybe I want to sleep in. I have socks. I have underwear. I have makeup bathing suits a bar of soap and an exfoliating washcloth i have shoes on that side over there so we're getting there hey guys 
good morning so it's 8 31 in the morning my mom just woke me up which is a good thing because my phone was dead don't even remember falling asleep like i literally don't remember but it's 8 30 in the morning and i have to use the bathroom really bad but other than that um i have my suitcase laid out and this morning i'm just going to basically wrap up my packing make sure i have everything i need i wrote down everything i think that i would forget to make sure i pack it so that's what i'm gonna do this morning but i'm also just going to take a shower because i didn't take one last night because i took one like hours before i went to bed i need to find like a comfortable outfit to wear because like i want to be comfortable on the plane but then i also don't want it to be okay what's the temperature here it's 59 degrees here but then once we land in miami it's gonna be probably like almost 90 so that's the part where it's like what do i wear all right guys so i'm back i'm out of the shower i'm pretty much done packing my suitcase is still laying open but i have pretty much everything i need in there this trip is only three days so like i should be good if anything i just overpacked so i put on a comfortable outfit i'm wearing this adidas cropped jacket thing i was wearing a couple days ago and then i'm also wearing <laughs> some Gymshark leggings because they're really comfortable but then they also have a lot of holes so they're really breathable so once we get to Florida I can still breathe but then underneath this cropped jacket I'm wearing a tank top once we get to Florida I can literally just take it off and be good so that's our universal fit that you could wear in either location even though I'm still probably gonna be dying in these leggings I think it's our best bet because I'm not wearing shorts it's like 60 degrees here not even this is the first time I've ever packed and it's been effortless to zip my suit case shut still pretty heavy but we did it all right guys so we're in the car now so we actually already stopped at a coffee shop but the coffee shop's only like a minute from our house and i thought i forgot my camera so we were gonna drive back but then i realized it was in like the side pocket of my book bag so at least i know like i'm not forgetting the things that i know i shouldn't like i think we're good so now we're on the way it takes like 30 minutes or so to get to the airport So we just got, like we boarded the airplane. Our flight's supposed to take off at 12.46. Right now it is 12.28. So we're running great on timing. I'm so excited. I have the window seat, which I'm really excited about until it's time to use the bathroom. So our flight is supposed to land at three o'clock. So only a couple hours left until we're on Miami Beach. So we made it to the Airbnb. It is someone's apartment that we're staying in. But it's super pretty. It's like super minimalistic and I really like it. We got the little kitchen, you know. We got the little living room space. I mean, this Ooh. Is, look, the shower. Oh, look how gorgeous. Look, All right. Little towels for us. There's a washer and dryer, which is awesome. I didn't think about that, but it is an apartment, so that makes sense. And then this is our like actual room that we're staying in. We just got one bed. Pretty sure we could both fit on here. Super simple, minimalistic, but super cute. And all the little light fixtures are really cute as well. And then they got the full length mirror. All right, so any fit we wear, we can just, I'm in love. I'm gonna film an outro real quick. All right, guys, so we have come to the end of this video and it's funny because I'm actually in Orlando now. Miami already happened and I just finished editing this video last night or I just finished this morning. I never filmed an outro for this video. Sometimes when you're just in the moment and you're having a good time and you're filming a video, you do not remember to film an outro. It just happened. So that's what we're doing now. My hair's different now. My nails are different now. Things are different now. Oh, and I'm 18 now. Yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This video was seriously 
a Netflix episode, okay? What is it, like 35 minutes long? That's crazy, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned for my birthday vlog. That'll be my next upcoming video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, I'm gonna